a forest on a map has got an area of 4.6 square centimeters. Calculate the actual area of the forest in square kilometers. So what do you do? Um, do you say, do you say 4.6 times 8 times 1 million? Mm -mm. <laughs> we don't do that. No, I thought you learned that it's good. Oh, you have forgotten form three stuff. Now look at this. We'll explain. <clears throat> what this, does this mean? This means 4.6 multiplied by one centimeter. Okay. You know that. Multiply by one centimeter. Centimeter squared is one centimeter multiplied by one centimeter. But what is one centimeter? What is the, remember it's one centimeter on the map, not the actual area. Now let's go back to this. This simply means one centimeter is to one million. Why? Because the centimeter cancel each other. Right together. One centimeter yes, is to one million centimeters. So now we want to identify how many kilometers. Huh? Let's change to meters first. If I'm to change to meters, I divide by what? By 100. Can you see that? So it means one right. centimeter there on the actual map. I divide it by 100 because I'm converting centimeters to what? Oh, okay. To, I'm converting centimeters to meters. I divide by 100. Isn't that correct? 100 yes, centimeters. Yes, that's what you're doing. So this is now equal to, you see, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is equal to 10,000 meters clear now but we want kilo kilometers huh? square kilometers so now we divide by what meters to kilometers you divide by thousand a thousand like this so it means one centimeter every centimeter represents 10 what kilometers so let's replace that it means 4.6 multiply by 10 kilometers multiply by 10 kilometers was a centimeter times centimeter are we together yes sir so it means the actual area is what um 460 yeah square kilometers Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Now let's go do this. The scale of a map is one is to fifty thousand. The area on the field of the map is twelve square what? One point two sorry. One point two square centimeters. Mm -hmm. So again the same thing, one point two means one point two times one centimeter times one centimeter. Now we need to know what each centimeter is in terms of kilometers. Okay, this is on the scale, so it has to be small, otherwise you can't draw it. Now let's do this. So it's 1 is to 50,000. 1 centimeter is to 50,000 centimeters. Are we agreeing? Divide by 2, you see this? So that is in meters. So 1 centimeter is to 500 meters. And if you divide by three, you can tell this is 0 0.5 of a kilometer. Is equal to 0 0.5. Are we agreeing? 500 meters is 0 0.5. Huh? You divide by 1,000, 0 0.5 kilometers. Huh? So let's go to this. So it's 1.2 multiplied by, what is each say? One centimeter is 0 0.5 kilometer. Okay. Multiplied by 0 0.5 kilometer. Can you see that? Um, I got 0 0.3. Yes, 0 0.3 square kilometers is the actual area. Hmm. Making sense? Yes, sir. Now, the volume of a child's model plane is 1,002, so volume, 
1,200 cubic centimeters. The volume of a full-size plane is 4,050 cubic. Mm. You see, cubic what? Mm -hmm. yes. So let's do the ratios to what they're saying. 1,200 cubic what? Centimeters. But this is 4,050 times meter times meter times meter. The units have to be the same for me to get, get a, a scale. The units have to be the same. So now this is in cubic centimeters. It means I need to think of, now look at this. So this is equal to 4,050. Multiply by one meter gives you how many centimeters? One hundred. Yes, hundred centimeters. Multiply by hundred centimeters. Multiply by hundred centimeters. See. Clear? One thousand two hundred. Cubic means centimeter by centimeter by centimeter. So the units actually cancel like this. Clear. Okay, now yes, so in terms of uh, you know, in mass, I can divide, I can do this 10, 10, 10, 10. Then I'm left with 12 is 2, but that's not what I want. I want the 1 is 2. Huh? 12 is to 4, 50, multiply by 100. Now we divide both sides by 12, because we want the 1 is 2. So 1 is 2, 4, 5, 0. Multiply by 100 divided by 12, what do you get? I got 33,750, sir. Mm -hmm. 33, so 1 is 2, 33,750. Clear now, that's the scale. Yes, sir. Now, a model of a ship is made of the scale one is to what? You see, now we're doing the opposite. One is to 200, yeah? so it means one centimeter to 200. Now, the area of the model is what? Is that calculate the surface area of the model? Okay, the area of this, the surface area of this model. Calculate the surface area of this model. Okay, calculate the surface area of the ship, huh? giving you an answer in square words. In square meters. Three max. A model of a ship is made of, is got a scale one is to 200 of the surface area. of this model. So we want to convert, remember, the square centimeters to what? The square meters, huh? Yes, sir. So this one there. Square centimeters. So look at this, 100, sorry, 7,500 multiplied by centimeter multiplied by centimeter. But I need to convert the centimeters to what? Meters. Meters, huh? So one centimeter to a was a small unit is one over hundred. I'm sure I should know that of a meter. Multiply by one over hundred. Like this. Um I got three quarters. Or 0.75. Yeah. So 0 0.75 square meters. <laughs> the map, the scale of a map is 1 is to 500,000. The actual distance between two towns is what? is 172. Calculate the distance in centimeters. 
on the map. You see, we want the distance on the map now. Remember, we were talking of the actual. Now look at this. Let's work with this scale first. So one centimeter is to 500,000 centimeters. So we divide by 100, so that we have meters. Huh? So if we divide by 100, we find that one centimeter is equal to 5,000 meters. Then we divide by 1,000. So it means one centimeter is equal to one kilometer. Every centimeter is equal to one kilometer. Make sense? Kilometer. Yes, sir. Every centimeter. So this is easier. This is simply 172. Can you see that? Centimeters. Suppose one centimeter gives you one what? One kilometer. kilometer. Clear there? The actual distance. There. Yes, sir. We simply divide by this. So this is one. If it was two centimeters, we divide by that. But one centimeter is equal to that. Now, the area on the map is 12 what? So we do the same thing. 12 multiplied by one centimeter multiplied by one centimeter. What is each centimeter representing? One what? Um, 12. One kilo. Oh, oh, it's the same question. One kilo. Same question, yes. Multiply by one kilometer, multiply by one kilometer. So we simply get 12 kilometer squared. It's the same question. Eh? Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A company sells a scale model, one tenth of the size, one tenth of one of its cars. Calculate the following table. Sorry, complete the following table. A company sells a scale model, one tenth of the size of a cars. A company sells a scale model one tenth okay of the size of one of its cars huh? so it's one tenth area volume so this is your scale factor here yeah these are similar shapes huh so this is your scale factor here. So if we are doing area, remember we said area of large is equal to scale factor squared. That's what he said. The formula that I gave you times area of small. Yes, sir. So this time we want to find the area of the real car, it's the large one. So it's this formula here. So it means to find that. Uh, I'm simply saying scale factor, which is one over 10 squared. Mm. Are we together? Yes, sir. Wait, wait, wait. We have to be careful with our scale factor here. We are making a mistake. A car sells one tenth. A car sells a model one tenth. The model, the small model, is the one that is one tenth of the original. Huh? which means the original car, the real car, is equal to 10 times. Huh? So scale factor is not one over 10. Scale factor is actually 10. How do you get that thing? Because the, it's 10 times larger than the model, yes. So it means our x is equal to 10 squared multiplied by 135. 10 squared multiplied by 135. What do you get? I've got 13,500. Yes, that's the actual size of the car. Now let's go to the next one here. We play around with this formula again. Now it says the volume of large. Fludge is equal to scale factor cubed multiplied by volume of small. Let's plug in what we have. 
we have volume of large, which is 10, uh, okay, 408,000, is equal to scale factor, we know it's 10 cubed, multiplied by x. Can you see that? We don't know x. Make sense? Yes, sir. So x is simply equal to 408,000 divided by 10 cubed, huh? which should give you 408. Clear? Yes, sir. Now, the scale factor of a car is made of one is to 40. Again, to do with models, huh? The volume is yes, of the model is that probably the volume of the car. So again, look, look at this. So this, we know scale factor is 40. Yeah? Now let's use the same formula, volume of large, which is the real car, is equal to scale factor cubed. Yeah? Multiply by volume of smaller. Let's see what we are given. The volume of the model, we are not given the large car. So it's X here, we don't know it. Huh? Multiply by what is our scale factor? 40. 45. Cubed. Scale oh, factor. 40. Oh, sorry. Multiply by the volume of the small of the model, which is 45, like this. Um, uh, what number is this? I think I got two million eight hundred and eighty thousand. Yep. A company makes two models of television. Model A has got a rectangular size measuring what? 44 by 50, 44 32. by 32. Model B has, has model B has model B model B has a large screen with these measurements increased in the ratio what? 5 to 4. 5 to 4. Wake out so they are increased with the ratios in terms of five is to four. So, what do you do? We got the measurements of the large screen. Um, would you say five over nine? Yeah, five over nine times. No, first of all, would you multiply 44 by 32? Why would you do this? To find the area? Maybe. Yeah. I think so. And then you'd say, um, <laughs> and then you say 5 over 9 times, um, ah, what am I doing? 5 over 9 times 1,408. Yes. But remember, we want to find the measurements, huh? the length and the width of the big screen. Whatever the big screen is, it means if you are to do ratios, you will find the ratios of 5 is to, what? Is to 4. Because model yes. B has been increased in these ratios. 5 is to 4. Oh, ah, uh, so, okay, would you say, um, let me find the scale factor. Scale factor, let's see if it works, that's one way, maybe I'm thinking of another, scale factor here, because I divide the large one by the small one, so scale factor in this case is five divided by what, by four. What do you get from a calculator? One point what? Is that one point two something? 
Yeah, 1.25. 1.25. Then I know that this has been enlarged. Huh? So I'm multiplying my length here times my, because well, the simply length is called length of large times scale factor. So it's 1.5 here times 44. What do you get? I got 66, sir. 66. Let's see if it works. Then the width will be equal to 32 multiplied by 1.25. Um, 40, sir. Mm. Will be 40, yeah. <laughs> Make sense? Find the ratio yes, areas, you're saying area of A, A is the small one. So it's 44 multiplied by 32 over 66 multiplied by 40, like that. So what do you get? What is 44 times 32? I want to use our calculator, 44 times 32. We get 1,000 and what? And eight over open product six, six times 40 we get 2000 then use your calculator a over b they should simplify the fractions for you 8 over 15 8 over 15 yes sir the ratio of teachers Male and male and female students in a school are two is to seventeen. Oh, no, sorry, is the issue of teachers, male students, yes, male. and female students are in the ratio two is to seventeen is to eighteen like this, huh? Yeah. Yes, sir. Both mm -hmm. is three. <clears throat> the total number of students is what? <coughs> Is six six sixty five. The number of teachers. What do you do? Find the number of teachers. Um, you'd find the total ratio. You'd say the ratio of students over the total ratio, which is um thirty seven. So you say okay. So you. So what? Do, how many students are? Wait, ah. wait. students are this. Six. Huh? Remember, we've got male and female, we have to yes. add them. Huh? So we have to add these ratios here. Yeah. 70 yes, and what? And 18. Huh? Can you see that? If we add, we get 35 over what? 37. Oh, yes. Was 2 plus yes, 7 sir. over 37 is equal to 665. So I'm saying of um, X of a number that we don't know of the total huh? altogether is equal to this. So X is simply equal to the inverse of this is 6. Six five. Can you see that? Multiply by thirty-seven over thirty-five. Makes sense. That for me to get the total. Because for me to find the number of teachers, I have to find the total. The teaching all the students and the teachers. Huh? So the first part is to get the total, like what you've done there. What total do you get? This gives us the total. Then we work out the teacher. Seven hundred and three, sir. Seven hundred. Three. Seven hundred and three. So your teachers are simply Teachers is 2 over 37. Eh? Multiply by 703, according to you. Yes, sir. What do you get? Oh. Um, 38 teachers. Yes, 38. Is that making sense to you? Then? That's how we do this. This type of question, yeah. Because that's a type of questions you get in exam first number one day. Clear? Yes. Sir. Okay, we are done for today here. Please may I ask a question. Yes, ask.
on those if yes i was doing a past paper it said can solve this inequality oh i don't know i Tell i get inequality. i let me find the the papers i was doing it in the morning um uh, Be the shower dorm as I am the name as I didn't be the shower dorm as I give the name as I. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Come the question. <coughs> yes, the question. Give us the question. It says n plus n Sorry? plus seven is less than five n minus n, n plus seven mm -hmm. plus seven n plus seven is less is less, less than five n minus eight. Five n minus eight. These are the simplest things to do this. So what you can do is you can move the five to this side, huh? then you move the seven away to that side. So if you move this, just like your equations, huh? because you are moving something from one side, it's a positive, it becomes a what? A negative. Is greater than minus eight, move this seven, it becomes a negative seven like this. Clear now? Yes, sir. Subtract there, you get minus four n is greater than subtract there you are increasing in the negative so it's minus 50 but there's something now in mess which is different from from if it was an equation say so when i divide by a negative the inequality sign changes direction altogether so this becomes yes, m sir. is less than minus 15 over 4. Oh. Are we together? yes sir Yes. Inequalities, you treat them the same as the equation, as normal equation, but the difference is when you divide by a negative, the inequality changes direction. Okay, sir. Mm. Thank you, sir. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 